growing together and enough distance to allow each partner to be an individual. A good partner in such a marriage will be loving, caring and above all a best friend. It is in this spirit that John and Philippa are now before us. In each other's company they have found happiness, fulfilment and love. They now wish to affirm their relationship with this marriage. So John, please could you give me your full name? John Thank you. And Philippa, could I have your full name please? Philippa Smith. Thank you. If any person here present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. Before you are joined in matrimony, I am required by law to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are about to make. Marriage in this country means the union of two people, voluntarily entered into for life, to the exclusion of all others. Now I'm going to ask each of you in turn to declare that you do not know of any lawful reason why you should not be married to each other. So John, if you could answer I am to the following question, please. Are you, John Ernest William Thomas, free lawfully to marry Philippa Ann Smith? And Philippa, if you could do the same, please. Are you, Philippa Ann Smith, free lawfully to marry John Ernest William Thomas? Mm. Thank you. And now I have a very important question to ask Ben and James. Who gives Philippa's hand in marriage to John Ernest William Thomas? Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. You'd like to take the seat next to Matt. Well, now we're going to pause for a moment to listen to a reading, so I'd like to ask Alex to come forward, please.